Disclaimer. The views and opinions expressed in this episode are those of the GOAT, or the greatest of all Titos, and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of all Titos or uncles around the world. Possibly a few, but definitely not all. For this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about my health and how interesting it has changed and I've learned a lot and discovered many things about myself and also how it ties into the whole how I was raised thing so for the majority of my life of my 45 years in existence I have been overweight from the time I was born I was born 10 pounds and there was never a moment in my life where I was normal size and when I was growing up the only reason why size mattered was for the only reason that I was overweight but for the majority of my life as a student I never saw the need because despite the size believe it or not I was a pretty active kid and not just active active lang ano I mean I would push myself physically that I would be just as active as a, ne uh, a regular sized kid. And if any of you know any of my friends, ask them. Especially my friends going to high school, elementary, and college. Ang kilos ko sobrang bilis. It wasn't descriptive of a fat person of course now that I am an adult now that when I start I mean when I started working the, the the nature of being a fat person finally caught up with me siguro narinig sa katawa ko teka lang kataba ka eh so dapat pabagay ka kubilos dapat madali kang hingalin dapat so there I am 2010 I was very fortunate enough to go on an A audition, reluctantly, mind you, to go on an audition for this uh, reality show called The Biggest Loser. It has been around for a while before it finally caught on in the Philippines and came out with like a Philippine version. Uh, and during my six month stay, I lost a whole person. at around 140 pounds. That was insane. Um, so fast forward to now, I obviously gained it all back. Uh, do I regret it? Yeah, of course. I mean, it was a good life being much healthier, being able to join fun runs every week, being able to do a lot of physical activities and do I miss it? Definitely. All more so now na whenever I get you know my blood work done it's scary as shit. And this latest one convinced me that I needed to do something about it and I decided to redo, rethink, and retry intermittent fasting. So I'm currently running on to my second week. I started out with, instead of doing like 16-8 thing, I jumped straight to 18-6. And in just a few days, I started using doing OMAD or one meal a day. 
So my, 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 my eating period would just be around, what, 15 to 30 minutes a day? And the rest of it would just be water and air. <laughs> and it's interesting, like the first week, um, in a nutshell, basically what happens is because of the prolonged fast, the body goes into what I, I remember in, in the show, it was called survival mode. Wherein at a certain period of time, the body would slow down. Uh, it, it would slow down burning fat from what you just ate, from the, from, or getting energy from the food you just ate, slowing down to preserve it. And after you hit a certain period, again, out of survival mode, the body would then start attacking, attacking uh, the stored fat for energy. And that, that, in a nut, that is my understanding of what intermittent fasting is. And when I started doing intermittent fasting and eventually OMAD, I, of course, started also lessening the volume. Kasi ang mali ko nun before is that, oh, OMAD ako, oh, intermittent fasting ako. But then parang binawi ko yung kain. Like for example, instead of doing three meals, my one singular meal would be the equivalent of three meals still. So, wala, hindi talaga effective. So this time around, the volume is definitely increased. That decreased, rather. And, 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 and it was a struggle at first because I just realized growing up, and this is not entire, it's not at all a fault of my family but wala kultura talaga eh. I mean when you're growing up you're told not to finish your food busog ka man ng day you have to finish your food and that led to like an unhealthy relationship with food and I admit it now back then hindi ko pa na I just thought that it's a love language and stuff like that but then no it's just a bad relationship that I'm trying to correct now so the first week, what what I noticed, the big change, one of the big changes yes, that I've noticed is surprisingly more energy. Uh, I sleep lesser hours now because I don't need to burn as much to the point na aantokin ako. My aches and pains in my knees, my feet, my lower back are gone. Um, I am positive that like in a couple of weeks or more, once I get my blood work done, that I would see like a definite change. But yeah, ganun, ganun yung ano, ganun yung effect sa akin ng intermittent fasting. And now, the relationship with food has changed, I think. <sighs> now, I don't crave as much junk food as I used to. Because yun nga, kasi nga, omad na nga lang ako. Parang feeling ko, I need or I deserve better quality food. Kaysa sa yung mga junk food na sobrang masarap, pero to be better quality food, better tasty food. So, I'm very excited ako sa kanon. And now, because my sister is doing it also, my sister is an expert. She's a pro at it. She yung tinatakbuhan ko asking for help. And she says, example, something came. Like, like over the weekend, we had our family movie night at home. And I already, I ended my meal at around like 3. My, my eating period ended at 3 p.m. And then at night, my sister ordered Korean food, then pizza, and... And the, 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 the encouragement I got was, yeah, you can still have it tomorrow. And that is my mindset now. If there's something that I like, uh, that's so tempting to break my fast, then I just tell myself that I'm going to eat it tomorrow. So far it works. Um, so my, my, my battle plan is to do OMAD, to be as 
gastronomically miserable for most part but when it time when when it comes to like uh, when the family goes out to eat or when I go out with friends which doesn't happen that much then my eating period could could be a little longer than just oh man and I'm fine with that if it makes me a lot healthier to lengthen my life then I'm all for it and that's all I have to say about that catch you in tomorrow's video bye bye